Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, uh, well, we had finally gotten the Chieftain's Gaffy. We had rescued, uh, the Jawas and, uh, Griff, Mission's brother. And, uh, now we're back in the spaceport to, uh, tie up most of those loose ends. You ever kind. Pieces of Jawa, thank you for what was done. Mine have returned because of you. It is as we agreed, as Izzy says, hoped it was. But I can't talk. I have things to give you. Take and be welcome. Uh, can you help me find a star map? You have saved the tribe of Isis, and we of Jawa are... Well, that draws quick. In the sand of the east, the eastern dune sea, we dig for the people of the sand and find the strange thing of the people before. We did not take it because of dragons in the lair. That is where you have to go. Take this map to the eastern dunes. So, we have a way to get there. Cool. A dragon? What kind of creature is that? Greatest of the desert. There is no larger. Bigger than the big machines. Jawa don't know how to fight something so big. I'm sure you don't. There is a hunter, a Twi'lek. He has seen many things. Look in the eastern dune sea when you go, and he may help. Good to know. Oh, maybe it was that hunter in the, uh... In the hunter's lodge area. Sorry, I had to yawn. I only just woke up a little bit ago. <laughs> Uh, thank you. Goodbye. You are a good friend of the Jawas. We will remember when you're kind or gone. Ask if you need any more of anything. Sounds good. Yay! Got things. What things did I get? New Chani Shield and map of the Eastern Dune Sea. Of the Eastern Dune Sea. Rather, not she. Pfft. Oh, boy. Wow. I am... So sleepy. Okay. That is clearly what I am. We shall go now to... Well, I mean... The number of places we could and probably should go. Cantina, I don't think there's anything in there for us. How about... No. No, there's nothing for us there either, but Zerka, we can deal with the gaffy stick, and I think Griff at the same time. Oh, well, <laughs> he kind of appeared into being, but there he is. Talk to you. Ah, just the person I was hoping to see. Uh-huh. Hmm. Save it, Griff. I'm not talking to you. I want no part of whatever you're involved in. Okay, sis, I see you still, man. Fair yeah. enough. I don't think you could help me with this anyway. It's uh, more of a job for your friend here. Uh-huh. What's the job? As you may know, tack glands can be refined to a very potent powder. It's the primary ingredient in Teresian ale. That's what makes it so strong. Of course, uh -huh. now that Taurus is pretty much wiped from the face of the map, Teresian ale has become somewhat scarce and uh, very, very valuable. Luckily, I know the secret recipe. Do you? Okay, so you want to open a bar. I know this guy. He's with the exchange. Now, if I give him a small oh. sample of Torizian ale, he says he can synthesize it and reproduce it in mass quantities. Problem is, I need one of those tack glands to make the first batch. And now that Taurus is a smoke and ruin, the only place to find tack is on Kashik. If you can get your hands on one of those tack glands, I'll make it worth your while. Griff, are you blind? Can't you see you're talking to a Jedi? We're out here trying to save the galaxy. We can't waste time on this. Please, you have to help me. I, I, I promised this guy from the exchange a sample of Teresian ale. If I don't come through for him, he's going to break my legs. Or worse. Maybe this should teach you that you shouldn't make agreements with the exchange. Especially promises you can't keep. 
kind of what you get. Come on, Mission. I I'm your brother. I'm family. You can't turn your back on me. Forget it, Griff. I'm not falling for that line again. You'll have to find your own way out of this mess. You bring me a single tech land, and you not only save my life, but you get a piece of this great business opportunity. Uh -huh. I mean, you can't pass this up. Think about it, and you'll see I'm right. Right. Let's look at that. Griff wants you to bring him a tack land so he can brew up some Terisian ale to sell to a business associate. That's a mild way to put it. He's promised you a healthy reward if you come through for him. Yeah, why do I have a feeling that's just another line of bullshit? All right, well, that taken care of. Uh, whoop, there we go. Hello again. Hi there. I hear you've made an impression down at the swoop track. Zerka Corporation wholly supports local events. Uh, not financially, you understand. You said that last time. Now, was this about bounties or something else? Yes, it was about the gaffy sticks. I see that, but do you have the all-important chieftain's gaffy? That was what you agreed to get for us. Yes, uh, that is what is here. Well, that is a very big headache that you've removed. I'm sure there are still sand people out there, but they'll be quieter now. I think I'll give you a bonus for this. You've more than lived up to your side of the bargain. Zerka Corporation thanks you. Hmm. Whoa. For a bit more, I could maintain my vigilance in the future. It would be valuable to have someone on call if the Sand People made another incursion. I think you're right. Yes, here's an additional reward. Once again, Zerka Corporation thanks you. Yay! Oh, I got a level up too. Fuck yeah. And 700 credits. Who could turn that down? Alright, uh, let's see. Ooh, I can add to my attributes as well. Hmm. Isn't that good for me? Um, let's go with strength, just to, yeah, let's go with strength, just to keep, well, I mean, it, it might be nice to make me less squishy, but not essential, not for that anyway, um, Whoa. <laughs> okay. Uh, treat injury there. Add some to persuade. Yeah, that ought to work. And I don't think I need to go that high for persuade. But I like the uh, even numbers, so the odd numbers are a little annoying. But, hmm. Well, let's just add one more to repair. Just screw them all up so that way the next level up will fix them. Oh. All right. Heals all of them for 10 points plus one point for every charisma modifier, wisdom modifier, and level of force user. Poisons are neutralized by the effect. And it doesn't affect droids. So anything poison-wise gets healed as well. Hmm. That is a good thing to have. It's also a useful thing to have. But considering I now have Jedi robes, or in this case, dark Jedi robes, because black is always better, uh, 
at least when it comes to clothing colors. Um, maybe I should get one that is... Hmm. Plus two to defense and all saving throws. Force Aura. Force Valor. The physical attributes and saving throws of the Jedi and all party members by two points. Hmm. This would be force resistance. Um, let's go with force aura because I will run into more situations where I need the defense than I do, well, the basic defense than I do for uh, defense against the force. So there we go. Yay! Any more gaffy sticks that I had to sell? Um, just making sure I didn't miss any of them. Just in case. No, nope, don't see them. All right. Uh, I think that covers everything, doesn't it? Yeah. It was just Mission's brother signing Nico. And finding the star map, which was in the Eastern Dune Sea, which we now have the map to go through. So I guess we just head to the Eastern Dune Sea now. Mm. I had to drink some of my tea. Alrighty. Let's uh, go do that then. Uh, although... Let's see if we can go to the hunting lodge and see what's going on. Wow, this place has cleared out since. Because uh, we were ambushed by the uh, Gamorreans, who we had to kill in self-defense. Uh, we told a hunter with bots to get lost. And then... Twi'lek Hunter is the one who's probably out in the Dune Sea. So that kind of just leaves uh, old Dorak over here. Why are you here, Swoophead? Hunting doesn't give your kind the instant thrills you need, does it? It can. Uh. I've been hunting. Bye bye. Alright. Just kind of had to take stock of what was going on. Alrighty, let us head out. And I do intend at some point on uh, completing those swoop races to get Nico signed. It just takes a while. <laughs> and at least in that regard, I'm going to be fairly safe scummy to get that. And I don't want to show that on camera. Because <laughs> it is mildly cheaty doodly. Hmm? Oh, it's you again. I'll just let you pass. The boys in the office may need authorization in triplicate, but not me. I Good appreciate it. Out there. Thank you. There we go. Now we head along. Towards the Eastern Dune Sea. It should be this way. And... Man, this is a long-ass trek. <laughs> Um, what? <laughs> I 
Okay, well, there's all the raids. All right. Um, do that and then that. Um, can, nope. Can't target them. Okay, I guess. Uh, Ready. Okay. There we go. Swap over to me. Alright. Pure. Jeez, I'm getting attacked in the place. Ow! That one hurts. Go. Really, that's the uh, only reason to be fighting them at all, is these skull plates. <sighs> but considering these are just the small fry ones, they're not going to fetch as much money. As we already know. So... At least I already know. Away we go to the Eastern Dune Sea. There we go. And this is a do back here. <laughs> it looked like it was attacking me, but it actually isn't. That was a little, a little odd, though. So there's something over here. There's also something way over there. Nope, nothing. And I think that crosses over to the Sand People Village. Ooh, boy. That is bright as thick. And yeah, we wouldn't be able to reach that because that is just outside the range of these, uh, these little things here. And, yep. That's what happens when you go past that. It says, nope, not a good idea. And then it doesn't let you go. Hmm. Thing over here. Is it a lootable thing? No, of course not. Oh. You can see in the uh, cave there, it is moving a little bit. That's clearly the dragon the Jawas were talking about. That ain't no rocks. Give it a second. I'm tired of waiting, Comad. How big can this dragon of yours be? You can see in. it. You can look at it from where you were standing. Ah! Okay, I don't know why my phone was buzzing, but... Yeah, he's, he's kind of gone. <laughs> he just kind of got eaten. And I guess he was a little shocked by the fact that Oh no, I didn't expect this to happen. How big could it have been? Oh, it was that big. Fuck. And, uh, chomp. Gulp. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh no. I thought I would see you out here, human. We are hunters, you and I. Perhaps we should pool our skills. I have tracked a very special beast to its lair. A crate dragon rests within, and tonight, he is the hunted, although by unorthodox means. Alrighty. Why do you want me and not another hunter? You are here, they are not. I also didn't know the size of my quarry until I was tracking him. And perhaps there are other reasons. 
Okay. I tried to get the help of one other, but you saw him die in the lair. He lacked experience and, more importantly, patience. I usually hunt for the skill of it, but must make an exception today. I want newcomers to understand the proper intent behind the hunt, no matter the methods we use. Fair enough. Uh, I thought you preferred the solo hunt. That is true. But this is a very cr uh, critical fight. Bull dragons are rare to see. Oh, jeez. That was quick. It's larger than the one my father felled a decade ago, and he is too far out of his territory and must be dealt with. I might not prevail alone, human, but I must try. That's fair enough. And uh, he had mentioned in the line previously that this is apparently a far bigger size than what is expected out of bull dragons. So he's a big old threat to everyone, considering how close he is to the spaceport. Now, it's hard to tell <laughs> how just how close it really is to the spaceport due to uh, the game fudging the distances as much as it does, but it is presumably too close. Uh, why should we kill this great beast? The natural cycle on Tatooine spans hundreds of years, but there are complications that must be addressed. Complications from our presence. Great dragons feed on Banthas. The numbers of either species fall, the other grows too numerous and unbalances the cycle. Now settlers use Banthas, so there are less for dragons to eat. This one is moving closer to Anchorhead. Perhaps there will be more, but he is the threat tonight. Okay, that explains it. That explains why. Uh, too many of them have been taken out of the natural uh, circulation of population on the planet. And thus it brings the Crate Dragons closer to Anchorhead to be able to get food. And thus that poses a problem for everyone else. So, until the numbers go back up, it just kind of leaves it a lingering threat. Uh, give me more information on how. We must bait the great beast out of hiding and ambush him swiftly. There is no room to engage him in the lair, and his hide will repel blast That's not good. I have placed mines around the mouth of the cave. We must coax him out, but this will, this is the end of this his season of hibernation. It will take much to rouse him. So he's kind of sleeping for a while. The food of a beast this size is almost exclusively banthas, and foolish hunters if we are not careful. To lure him out, we must lure his food to tempt him. So... Mines? That is true, and I regret it. I tracked this beast, for, this beast for many days and hoped to face him fairly, but there are other concerns than my honor. By my honor. I can't talk, really, I can't. Uh, it may seem like he's isolated, but the range of his territory extends deep into settled areas. You must kill him for the safety of others, and blasters will not do the job. So, it's more of a greater good thing. We must lead the Banthas here using fodder like the sand people do. Their warriors may carry some, or you could search the settlement. The spaceport merchant also has some. I'm not sure why. Well, I mean, I have a bit of them in my pocket. If you find fodder and bait the Banthas here, the mind will deal with the dragon as it emerges to feed. Not exactly a glorious hunt, but it will ensure the safety of the region. Why? What aren't you telling me? There's one added threat. The sand people regard Banthas as sacred. Attempting to feed the herd in this area will likely lead to an attack. Great. We are far from the weakened tribes around Anchorhead. The sand people of this region are strong, fierce, and will think nothing of killing you. Be careful. They pose no real threat to me before. You likely mean the tribe that has been harassing Zerka for. This group, this group is used to the deep desert. desert. They appear to be much more dangerous. Really, I can talk, but it's just not today. That doesn't help that I only just woke up. 
Yeah. So, uh, look, I have the fodder. Good. Now there is a herd that moves out in the desert. Lead them here. Approach them with the fodder. And lead them here. Oh, boy. Mm. Exhibit B of me being sleepy. I yawned in the middle of that statement. Mm. I'll see what I can do. I wish you luck against the sand people. When you return, the dragon will fall. I wish it could be under more sporting circumstances, but we must do what the circumstances call for. I had hoped for a mirror of my father's expedition. That will have to wait. Fair enough. Well, hopefully we can, uh... Oh. Fuck a duck. <laughs> Hopefully you can uh, get that chance in the future. Well, here's a few bantha here. Should probably heal up. Use force aura. There we go. This bantha perks up as you approach, obviously attracted to the smell of the fodder you are carrying. The whole herd falls in step. And then the sand people pop up out of nowhere. At least the elite warriors. That are already damaged? Odd, but okay. That's set for the uh, moves I want. Okay. Go. Yeah, man. You, you actually attacked me. Jeez. Okay. I spent too much time not attacking. So. It didn't. I don't know why he just stood there. Ready. I don't know why he just stood there. I, I set it up as do the thing. He just didn't do the thing. I'm just happy the auto saves. No, they stopped working. Fuck off. God damn it. Okay. It's going to take me too long to get to where I went. <laughs> to get me where I was. The game broke. Okay, since the autosave is not broken, for some reason, um, I will do what I can to fix it. In the meantime, I will do the swoop racing stuff, and uh, we'll go back to that fight, and uh, hopefully the game's AI will fucking cooperate, and won't get me killed stupidly so there we go anyway thank you all so much for watching click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more and click the like button if you like this particular video and share and comment so we can bring more people into this community we can talk about the games we're playing together and i will see y'all in the next episode shout out to svs on youtube for subscribing to my patreon and supporting the channel i very much appreciate it this has been the one the only stray cat playing games and getting fucked over by the game AI trying to kill me because it just wouldn't attack even though I set up the fucking moves to attack. And uh, now I have to do everything over again because the autosave has broken again when it used to work fine not a few days ago. Fuck my life for you.